azibuyele emasisweni South Jos Patek Africa. On 3 December 1794, you set sail with 414 of my own, without their volition, and 24 days later, when you could not contain our ancestral rage and anger, like a behemoth, you selfishly went down with 212 of them. When you further could not restrain their souls, you gave birth to never-before-seen inequalities in our land, and further took thousands that perished in the middle passage to fill your insatiable appetite. You took them with the same vigor and path as repeated in 1917 when sinking the SS Mendy. For 226 years, you concealed your dastardly conceit to wash our memory of their identity, and yet the spirit of Makandangale aroused us from slumber. Alert, we followed the train of our bones and spirit. It has been your primary purpose to bequeath our youth insurmountable hardship, for the lost soul still pines home, and to hopefully infuse our youth with your venom. You had orchestrated our anger. We have found light and zeal to achieve beyond measure in our dreams. We have found the hopeful eyes of our own stuck to your clutching hands. In addition, you planted disgust, anger, and humiliation in the deep waters. When we cast our buckets, we found hope and peace that give credence to the consciousness of our oneness as humanity. Bones give structure to form, resilient and phallic. We are healed in finding wisdom and our forebears, our kith, our kin. The tempor time temporal reveals, time heals, time assuages, time bridges, as our brother and Angira from Kenya says in his poem, The Country of the Dead. The country of the dead, I speak no answer. I weep no pity. I watch no color. I listen no sound. The country of the dead. I've searched the exit, but had no owls, no parrots. The waves beat afar, the wrecks of ships. The sand stares with me, the country of the dead. Like the healing bones of St. Lucia, we shall find a better path next time.